The Detroit Lions are officially releasing James Houston from the roster. Uh, I was going to make an early uh, an earlier video, couldn't get to it. Now uh, I get a chance to talk about it, and it is a little surprising, but also not really surprising. I guess the timing of it is really surprising, not the fact that he is released. You look at what he's kind of done this year, and in eight games, he's given the Lions one sack, and this is a guy who basically was a sack-a-game guy. I mean, seven games, he had eight sacks his rookie year. And now in in similar amount of games, he has one sack this year. So he just isn't what he was his rookie year. And after that ankle injury last year that forced him to miss most of the season, he just never quite looked the same. And so, again, not surprising when you put it in that perspective. But the question I have is what could be on the horizon for the Detroit Lions? Because when you make a move like releasing James Houston and Dan Campbell spoke about it and. He even stated that this might be best for him as well to kind of find a new place. I'm already seeing Eagles fans comment on some uh, some uh, a lot under the news posted on Twitter. Bring him to Philly. Bring him to Philly. Well, uh, they'll find out soon what they're kind of getting in James Houston, and, and I mean that with no disrespect. But the reality is, he just isn't the same player he was. So I, I want people to remember that when they see. Uh, the news, uh, or they're thinking to themselves, why would Brad release James Houston? You know, the, the edge depth, you lost Aiden Hutchinson. Guys, he's not what he was his rookie year. They have Zadarius Smith, who's playing excellent. Josh Pascal, who's playing excellent. Um, even a Makai Wingo, I would take at this point over James Houston. I mean, I really would. In, in a small sample size with Makai Wingo, you've seen more out of him. So I wish the best of luck to James Houston. But to me, guys, this signals the Lions are going to make a move. I talked about Daniel Jones in an earlier video. I don't think this signals Daniel Jones, if I'm being honest with you. It very well could, um, but I think this more so signals they're going to add a corner. I think a corner is the way to go here. You Kendall Vildor did not look great in the game against the Colts, did not at all. He was clearly being picked on all game. And you have Emmanuel Mosley who would thrive at nickel instead of playing outside playing in the outside corner. So when you look at it, true outside corners, Carlton Davis is banged up. Taron Arnold's a rookie, but he'll be back this week. They don't have a lot there. So in my opinion, they should go grab an outside corner. There's probably someone available that can give you more than Kendall Vildor. Actually, not probably. I know there is someone available that can give you more than Kendall Vildor. So I think that's going to be the move for Brad Holmes here, and I think it's the right move. Um I mean, you look at how this defensive line room is playing. They're playing well without James Houston. Um, and every time you do see James Houston in there, he just isn't quite the same. I mean, it's sad to say. I mean, what a story. Brad Holmes take, takes him in the sixth round, and he shows to be a, a basically a sack a game guy, has an incredible rookie year, was right there with Aiden in terms of total sack numbers. And then we're here now to where he's released. You know, it, it is crazy, but this happens in the NFL, guys. I mean, the average NFL career is, what, two and a half, three years. Not everyone pans out the way people expect. We've seen flashes in the pan from a lot of different players in this league where guys have tremendous rookie years and just never quite look the same or guys that have great years and never look the same. I guess one that comes to mind immediately would be a different position, but Kenny Galladay. You guys remember Kenny Galladay? Played well in Detroit. After that, it was over, you know, and that's how the NFL is. So players that can – have a long career in this league, uh, you have to admire it. You just do because it doesn't happen to every player in this league. But like I said, a move will be made. I think it'll be corner. And I think it'll happen, honestly, pretty short, shortly, in my opinion, because they play a short week this week. And the next week you got the Packers, I believe. So they're going to look to add someone. Um, they are. And they need depth at, at corner. Um, it, it, if, if it is Daniel Jones, then so be it. But you guys know where they need help the most. And that's that corner right now with the unknown of Carlton Davis. You got an MRI, but he could be out a decent amount of time. So um, it's unfortunate, but I do wish James Houston the best of luck. I do. You know, it, it's I hope I hope he can have some sort of resurgence. I don't think it'll be in Detroit, obviously, because this this Detroit team, I, I mean, you guys have seen them get everything out of players. And if you can't really succeed here. Typically, I mean, you don't see guys really succeed elsewhere. I mean, th this coaching staff is is pretty beneficial for players. Um, it just is. Could James Houston defy the odds? Of course, but I think it's unlikely. Um, I think what you saw in his rookie year will be the best of James Houston, in my opinion. 
But what do you guys think? Comment down below. Let me know your thoughts of the reaction of him getting released. What move could be on the horizon? Do you agree with me? It's corner. Uh, do you think it is Daniel Jones? Uh, I don't know. We shall see. But if we do get reporting, I will be making a video on it. I appreciate the support, guys. And subscribe because about half the people that view the videos are not subscribed. So we got to start turning that. We got we need, we need to convert more of you to subscribe and tune into our live show tonight, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. But until then, I will catch you. Hey, what's going on there? It's Jeff Iyer Freddy. Appreciate you for finishing the video. You can check out one of the videos here suggested or show support by commenting, liking, and subscribing. And buy your merchandise, officialctsports.com.